Are you guys ready? Because we're about to dive deep into a world where Google's latest tech gimmick is turning sound waves into storms. Yes, you heard me right. With Soundstorm, it's hard to tell if you're hearing me or my AI doppelganger. Google's Soundstorm, the new kid on the block, is turning heads, popping eardrums, and raising eyebrows. Not necessarily in that order. I mean, who would have thought that an AI model running on nothing but numbers and caffeine-infused code could recreate your voice just from a measly three seconds of your melodious tone? That's like hiring a voice double for the price of a hot dog and a soda. Just minus the actual hot dog and soda. Now before you grab your pitchforks, fearing your beautiful voice will be copied by a robotic overlord, let's break down this little storm in a teacup. Soundstorm uses AR voices as a fancy way of saying it learns from recorded human voices. These voices are sampled from something called the Liberty Speech Test Clean, a phrase which sounds suspiciously like a bunch of guys and gals in white coats making me say, Sally sells seashells by the seashore, on repeat. But don't worry, it's not as eerie as it sounds. You won't hear your voice speaking Latin phrases or quoting the entirety of Shakespeare's Hamlet. You know what they say, AI should be seen and not heard. But here's where the fun part starts when your voice is compared to its AI-created twin. And what's the result? So eerily similar, it's like looking into a vocal mirror. If you ask me, it's like playing a twisted game of Spot the Difference, where you struggle to tell apart the original masterpiece from the excellent forgery. Or in layman's terms, figuring out if it's you or your evil twin brother who's really bad at impressions. However, don't be fooled by the smooth talker. Soundstorm isn't just about creating an army of vocal clones. This little rascal is all about high-quality voiceovers. You know those fancy ads with the voice smoother than butter on a hot pan? Or the trailers with voices so deep, they reach into your soul? Yep, all that but now your voice can be the star. Think of the possibilities. You could be the next Morgan Freeman, or better yet, your own AI could. Now no tech gossip is complete without a little comparative drama. So we've got another player on the field, a heavyweight named Eleven Labs. These folks are doing something similar but the main plot twist? They've been creating vocal clones before it was cool. So is Google's Soundstorm just a flashy newcomer, or is it the future homecoming king of voice cloning? The jury's still out, but things are certainly heating up in this clash of the titans. Now that we've gotten our feet wet with Google's Soundstorm and its flirtatious dance with Eleven Labs, let's look at another angle. What if I told you that this storm is not all sunshine and rainbows? That the voice you hear over the phone asking you to help your poor stranded cousin in Timbuktu might actually be a sneaky AI using your cousin's voice? Sounds wild, isn't it? Picture this. You're cozied up with a mug of hot cocoa, scrolling through the latest cat memes, when you get a call. It's Aunt Mildred. She's stranded at the grocery store, her scooters run out of petrol, and she needs you to wire her $200 for a taxi. Mildred's voice sounds just like it did at last year's family reunion, so you transfer the money without asking any question. Only later do you realize Aunt Mildred passed away three years ago? That's right, folks. A clever AI just pranked you. Not so humorous now, is it? This is where the story of our favorite Aussie cousins comes in. You see, the Australian government had been using a voice recognition system to verify the identities of its citizens. Imagine that being recognized just by the sound of your voice feels like a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Well, it did feel like one until a crafty AI duped the system. Now our Aussie mates have to grapple with the fact that their voice-based security has as many holes in it as a slice of Swiss cheese. Not quite the ideal plot twist, I reckon. Now you might be thinking, this can't be. Surely our AI overlords have some plan to tackle this issue? Well, you'd be half right. You see Soundstorm and its developers in a plot twist that would make M. Night Shyamalan proud claim that they've got a system to sniff out the AI-generated fakes. According to their Technobabble, they have a dedicated classifier that can identify AI-generated voiceovers with 98.5% accuracy. But here's the rub. The people being duped like our imaginary Aunt Mildred don't have access to this super-duper voice-sniffing classifier. It's like having a state-of-the-art burglar alarm, but only the burglars know how to turn it on. Classic case of the fox guarding the hen house, if you ask me. While we're on the topic of protection, there's a new sheriff in town who's promising to solve this whole identity mess. Say hello to WorldCoin, which despite sounding like a cryptocurrency, is more than just Bitcoin's cooler cousin. Imagine a world where your eye is your passport to everything. WorldCoin wants to scan your peepers and turn that into your digital ID. It's like a high-tech version of saying, look into my eyes, you're getting sleepy. But instead of falling asleep, you're proving you're not a robot. 
WorldCoin is a project backed by none other than Sam Altman. If you don't know him, let's just say he's the guy who decided that chatbots needed a bit more pizzas, and so ChatGPT was born. Now he's putting that brain power into creating digital IDs via eye scans. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a James Bond movie, doesn't it? You can almost hear the gadgets whirring and beeping already. Now this sounds like something out of an Orwellian novel where your eyes are your passport, your credit card, your digital ID. But there's a twist. WorldCoin promises you can stay anonymous while proving you're unique. It's like being at a masquerade ball. Everyone knows you're a guest, but they have no idea who's behind the mask. So in theory, you could be anyone, anywhere, anytime. It's all a bit cloak and dagger if you ask me. But we must admit, this eye-scanning reality-checking concept sounds enticing, doesn't it? In a world where an AI can duplicate your voice and potentially trick your grandma into sending her secret cookie recipe to a complete stranger, having a foolproof way to prove your identity is nothing short of appealing, and it's like having a secret handshake that only you know. Pretty cool, huh? However, we're left to ponder about the implications this holds for the future of voice technology. As we sit on the precipice of this new frontier taking a leap of faith into the realm of WorldCoin, it sparks a question. Does such a leap into this eye-scanning tech signal an abandonment of Soundstorm and similar voice technologies, leaving them to shiver in the digital cold? Are we poised to witness voice recognition become an artifact of a bygone era, a testament to the times when we placed our trust in our auditory faculties over our visual ones? Or will it persist and continue to play a crucial role in the world woven with wires and web connections? It's quite intriguing to imagine. We're already at a point where our morning greetings are reciprocated by our devices. What's the next step then? Are we on the verge of singing our machine's lullabies? As we careen headfirst into the dizzying depths of this unexplored universe, uncertainty and excitement grip us. We cannot help but wonder about the trajectory it's all going to take. Will voice cloning technologies, despite Pandora's box of potential misuse they hold within, manage to carve out a permanent place in our everyday existence? Will they stir up a revolution in how we engage with the digital domain? Or will they gradually fade into oblivion, overshadowed by the dazzling gleam of WorldCoin's futuristic ocular technology? Indeed, it's a brave and bewildering new world out there, folks. As we set sail and navigate the stormy seas of voice recognition, deep fakes and digital IDs, it becomes crystal clear that technology is not merely about circuits and silicon. It's a voyage into terra incognita, a daring plunge into the unexplored, an adventure studded with laughter trepidation and an abundance of what on earth is going on moments. The question is no longer about technology taking over our lives, but rather how it can enhance and redefine our existence. So, what's your take on this wave of groundbreaking, mind-boggling, somewhat scary but undeniably exciting tech evolution? Do let us know in the comments below. And that's all for today. If you want to stay updated with the latest AI trends, insights, and amazing content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. As we dive deeper into the boundless realm of AI, always remember that AI is not our enemy, but AI is our ally, guiding us toward a future of endless possibilities.